Once upon a time, Millie Molly Mandy was invited to go for a little visit to an old friend of mother's who lived in a nearby town. Uncle was to take her in the pony trap on Saturday morning on his way to the market and fetch her on Sunday evening so that she be ready for school the next day. So Millie Molly Mandy would spend the whole night away from home, which was very exciting to think of. But just a day or two before she was to go, mother received a letter from her friend to say that she was so sorry, but she couldn't have Millie Molly Mandy after all. As a married son and his wife had come unexpectedly to pay her a visit. Millie Molly Mandy had to try very hard not to feel dreadfully disappointed, for she had never been away from home before by herself, and she had been looking forward to it so much. Never mind, Millie Molly Mandy, said Mother. When Saturday morning arrived and Millie Molly Mandy came down to breakfast, looking rather solemn, there are nice things happening all the time if you keep your eyes open to see them. Millie Molly Mandy said, Yes, mother, in a small voice as she took her seat, though it didn't seem just then as if anything could possibly be as nice as going away to stay. But while father and mother and grandma and grandpa and uncle and auntie and Millie and Molly and Mandy were at breakfast, Mrs. Moggs, who was little friend Susan's mother, came round in a great hurry without a hat. And Mrs. Moggs told them how some friends had to go to town on business, had offered her a seat in their gig. And as Mrs. Moggs' mother lived there, Mrs. Moggs thought it was nice opportunity to go and see her. Only she didn't like leaving Susan alone all day, Mrs. Mr. Moggs being at work. So Millie Molly Mandy's mother said, let her come round here, Mrs. Moggs. Millie Molly Mandy would like to have her. And I don't suppose you'll be back till late. So she'd better spend the night there too. Millie Molly Mandy was pleased and Mrs. Moggs thanked them very much indeed, and they all wished Mrs. Moggs a nice trip, and then Mrs. Moggs ran back home to get ready. Where will Susan sleep? In the spare room, asked Millie Molly Mandy, making haste to finish her breakfast. Yes, said Mother, and you had better sleep there too to keep her company. Millie Molly Mandy was very much pleased at that, for she had never slept in the spare room. Her bed was one in one corner of father and mother's room. Why, mother, she said, I can't have a visit of my own, but I'll just be able to enjoy Susan instead, shan't I? Perhaps it'll be almost quite as nice. She helped to wash up the breakfast things and to make a spare room uh, and to make the spare room bed and to dust. And then just as she was looking out of the window, thinking how nice it would be for Susan to wake up in the morning with a new view outside, when what did she see but little friend Susan herself trudging along the road with a basket on one arm and her coat on the other. She ran down to the gate to welcome her in. And though Millie Molly Mandy had little friend Susan met almost every day and very often spent the whole day together, somehow it felt so different to think little friend Susan was going to stay the night with Millie Molly Mandy that they couldn't help giving an extra skip or two after they had kissed each other. Millie Molly Mandy took her to see mother and